A humanoid robot has been accused of harassment towards a journalist. The robot, named Muhammad, unexpectedly reached out and touched the female reporter from the Al Arabiya television channel without permission. The company figure is causing a real revolution in the field of robotics by demonstrating how its AI-powered robot from OpenAI engages in full-fledged conversations with humans. Robots are making significant strides in the beauty industry as well. For instance, Luum Company's robots, equipped with computer vision and artificial intelligence technologies, are already working in beauty salons in California. Additionally, researchers from Pennsylvania State University have successfully printed multi-layered living skin directly onto an open wound using a 3D printer for the first time. These and other high-tech news in one video. A humanoid robot has been accused of harassment towards a journalist. At the DeepFest Festival in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, where the local company QSS presented its first humanoid robot named Muhammad, a curious incident occurred. The robot allegedly began touching the reporter without permission. It is reported that Al Arabiya journalist Ravia Qasem was conducting a live report in front of the robot, dressed in traditional Saudi attire and speaking Arabic and English. Suddenly, Muhammad unexpectedly reached out and touched her back without permission. In a viral video, Qasem can be seen sternly looking at the humanoid and raising her hand, seemingly warning that such behavior is not acceptable, before continuing her presentation. QSS attempted to justify its robot's actions by stating that it was fully autonomous and acted independently without direct control from a human. According to the organizers, all attendees were warned about the need to maintain a safe distance from the robot. After reviewing the footage of the incident, allegedly no deviations in Muhammad's behavior were found. However, QSS promised to take additional measures to prevent such incidents from happening in the future. Figure is spearheading a true revolution in the world of robotics by showcasing how its robot with artificial intelligence from OpenAI engages in full-fledged conversations with humans. In a new demonstration video, Figure creators illustrated how the robot can identify surrounding objects and interact with them after receiving cues from a human. In the video, Figure 01 communicates with a person, understanding natural human speech. The person asked the robot to identify what it was looking at, and Figure 01 accurately identified the objects around and their purposes. I see a red apple on the plate in the center of the table, a dish rack with cups and plates, and you standing next to the table with your hand on it, the robot said. When it was asked what it could eat, the robot offered the apple. As the person scattered some trash around, the robot explained what was happening and began picking up the trash into a bin. Finally, the person asked the robot what might happen next considering the arrangement of the dishes on the table. The robot confirmed that the dishes would likely need to be placed in the dish rack. With agreement, the robot placed the plate and glass in the rack. Since the launch of the figure project, their robot has been rapidly improving. Six months ago, the android confidently stood up and began performing autonomous tasks. Two months ago, videos emerged showing it loading boxes and operating a coffee machine. Now, its movements are even more precise, and its interaction with humans has reached a new level. Behind the project is Brett Adcock, who has assembled a team of experts from Boston Dynamics, Tesla, Google DeepMind, and Archer Aviation. Adcock states an ambitious goal, to create a universal model of artificial intelligence that will control humanoid robots on the scale of billions. It is known that Figure already has a contract with BMW to supply humanoid robots for its factory in South Carolina. It seems that robots are making significant strides even in the beauty industry. Robots from the company Loom, equipped with computer vision and artificial intelligence technologies, are already operating in beauty salons in California. The robot individually applies each eyelash to the prepared eye, doing so in 15 minutes. Although the robot's setup takes 50 minutes, overall, it is still one-third faster than a human would accomplish the task. Developers claim that this process is super fast, comfortable, and very consistent for clients. Researchers from Pennsylvania State University have successfully printed multi-layered living skin directly onto an open wound using a 3D printer for the first time. The printed skin has the potential to regenerate hair follicles, which is already unique. Anatomically, skin consists of three layers, the outer epidermis, the middle dermis, and the deepest layer, the hypodermis. The last one, made up of connective tissue and fat, provides structure and protective support to the skull. It is here that hair follicles begin to grow. To create one component of bioink, researchers used human adipose tissue, extracting a network of protein molecules, extracellular matrix, which provides tissue structure and stability. The second component was stem cells obtained from adipose tissue, 
The third consisted of a blood clotting solution containing fibrinogen, which helped other components bind to the damaged area. A bioprinter with three compartments allowed scientists to simultaneously print a mixture of matrix and fibrinogen, along with stem cells with precise control. The fact that the printing occurred directly from the open wound contributed to the formation of the hypodermis, which aids in healing, regulating temperature, forming hair follicles, and much more. Such technology could significantly aid in the recovery of individuals after head injuries. Meanwhile, the well-known tech torturer Zach Nelson, who gained fame for bending, burning, and generally abusing devices, decided to raise the stakes and test the durability of the Tesla Cybertruck. He prepared a real test for Elon Musk's electric pickup in the form of a flamethrower and various firearms. Firstly, the blogger applied the flamethrower from the Boring Company, owned by Elon Musk, to the electric pickup. This not harmed the stainless steel body of the vehicle. However, Zach didn't initiate this experiment for that purpose at all. After the fiery warm-up, the blogger armed himself with a Glock 19 9mm pistol. The bullets left an impressive mark on the metal but did not penetrate it, although consistently hitting the same spot could lead to the formation of a crack. The 22 caliber also did not penetrate the covering. However, bullets of the 17 caliber, which were twice faster, did penetrate the metal but got stuck inside the door. Next, Zack armed himself with a semi-automatic AR-15 rifle, which managed to penetrate the door completely. Lastly, he used a sniper rifle with 50 caliber rounds. As expected, it pierced the doors of the electric car and even punctured some of the wires inside, but this had no effect on the car's functions. If you need a humanoid robot for watering flowers, cleaning, and threading a needle, you'll have to wait until the Phoenix robot from Sanctuary AI becomes available for purchase. The advanced humanoid bot recently performed admirably, demonstrating nearly human-like dexterity and speed in manipulations. Unlike its counterparts, Phoenix doesn't walk yet, but it has some of the most agile and functional hands in the industry. The robot's training process is as follows. Engineers demonstrate an action to it using a teleoperation suit, and then the bot attempts to replicate everything in simulation, learning there until it achieves a certain result. After that, training continues in reality. As a result, the robot learns to perform very complex and precise manipulations completely autonomously. The only downside to this approach is time. It will take a lot of time to train the robot in all possible actions. Speaking of its construction, Phoenix's hands are powered by hydraulic actuators, similar to those of the Atlas robot, whereas its counterparts Optimus and Figure 01 use electric actuators. Hydraulics are expensive and not very reliable, as they can leak. But according to developers, only hydraulics provide the required accuracy, strength, and speed today. A human hand can perform up to 33 different grips, and with our learning algorithms we are trying to see if the robot can achieve the same 33 grips, say the engineers at Sanctuary AI. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel to stay tuned for our upcoming videos and check out our previous episodes. See you next time.